In this video, I'll teach you how to make a keyboard split in Ableton. We will be doing it for three different instruments, a piano, a bass and a synthesizer. And I'll also show you how you can use this keyboard split for only a certain part of a song. So in case you're performing live, you can switch back and forth between the keyboard split and a full size keyboard. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. As you can see, we start where we left off in part 2 of this tutorial series in which I show you how to make an Ableton set to perform music live like Anomaly. If you want to see how we got to this point, I suggest you to watch part 1 and part 2 of this tutorial series. I will first show you the basics of how to create a keyboard split and then I'll show you how you can use it for a specific part of a song. So creating a keyboard split is very simple. Let's start off by creating a new MIDI track and we will add an instrument rack to this track. Now for each instrument that we want to create a split for, we're gonna create a new chain. So I'm going to create a chain for the bass, for the piano, and then we're gonna use a synthesizer as well, so synth. And now to split these instruments across your keyboard, we can use the key, select, the key knob. Right here we can select the range of each instrument. I want the bass to be played in the lowest register, so from A-1, which is the lowest key on my 88 key piano, all the way to B1 for this song. Then the piano is going to be played from C2 upwards to B4, B3 actually. And then the synthesizer is going to be played from C4 and above. Since we want to use this keyboard split only for the chorus of song 2, so let's actually mark the chorus, add locator, chorus and that's gonna be this part of the song obviously now we don't have any sound since we haven't added the instruments yet so we are going to do that make sure to use instruments that support receiving external MIDI data since that is what we will be doing again anomaly for example uses omnisphere and keyscape I'm going to use contact since that is a plugin that I have which supports this so for the bass let's load contact and we're going to select an instrument, 25, which is a new synthesizer, it's free by the way. To watch my video on this plugin, you can click the pop-up banner on your screen. And we are going to select a bass preset. Let's add a new version of contact to the piano. And we're going to select hybrid keys, which is the piano that I've been using in this project. And then for the synthesizer, let's add another instrument. Let's choose 25 again. And this time we're going to select a lead. So now let's rename this track so we know what it is for. I'm going to name this Song 2 Chorus. So that way I know this instrument track will be used in the Song 2, in the chorus of Song 2. And we want to set this track to IN, because we don't want to arm this track since we have our MIDI control track, which is armed. We want to receive MIDI information from MIDI control, and we can do that by, by changing this switch. Now if we have MIDI control armed, you can see that Song 2 Chorus receives MIDI data from MIDI Control. Now we need to automate this track so it only plays during the chorus of Song 2. Open the track and we're going to automate this instrument track. So show automation in new lane. And we want this only for the chorus of Song 2. So we want this device to be on and off when the chorus ends, which is right there. And something to watch out for when using this method is that all the other instrument tracks are turned off as well. So that way we don't have multiple instruments playing at the same time, which is not what we want in this case. Now let's do a quick recap. I have MIDI control armed and I want a keyboard split, which is a bass, a piano and a synth only for the chorus of this song. I have my MIDI control track armed and it is sending MIDI data to the song 2 chorus patch. When I get to the chorus of song 2, you can see our instrument track turns on. And if I start playing on my MIDI keyboard, you can see in this range we hear a piano. If I go in a lower range, you can hear the bass, but it is really low, so we need to change that. Let's open our plugin and add some octaves to it. Let's make it two octaves higher. That sounds better. And if we go to the higher key range, like this, you can hear our synthesizer, which is exactly what we want. This time let's create a fade for the bass and the piano and create a one octave fade. So the piano will fade in and the bass will fade out. If I now play on my MIDI keyboard, you will hear this cross fade.
as you can hear, from the bass to the piano, a smooth transition. So now if we were to play our song live, if we are playing this part of the song, this Ableton track is playing along with us, we would be playing song to patches as you can see because it is automated on. And if we get to the chorus, the patches of song 2 would turn off and we would get to the split, the keyboard split that we made specifically for this part of the song. And that is explained very simply how to use keyboard splits in Ableton Live and how to use it only for a specific part of a song. If you want to see more tutorials like this or if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful to you, leave a like to let me know and support me. Thank you for watching. My name is Matt Flank. Happy holidays. Peace out.